Hi, I'm Robin with Big Doodle Dreams. And this sweet girl, this is Penny. And Penny is an English Springer Spaniel. And Miss Penny is due with her first litter on May 18th. And let's see, Miss Penny is a sable and white. So if you look at her spots, they're sable. They're not liver, they're not the brown color. They're sable. The father of this litter is Pluto. Pluto's in one of my other videos, the video about toys. But Miss Penny, we're gonna talk about bath time because when it comes time for you to bath your puppy, there are some things that you should know and that you should be prepared for. Um, the first thing I'm gonna tell you and recommend is that your shower head needs to be a detachable. So if you go to Home Depot, it's like 25 or $30, and it's a very easy thing that you change out the mounting system. Anybody can do it, I promise you. <laughs> but it makes it so that you can take it down and the sprayer, you can bring the sprayer down to where the, the dog or the puppy is at. So that's the first thing you wanna do. Second thing you wanna think about is the inside of your bathtub is slippery and especially when it gets wet and a, and a dog with claws and, and their paws, they'll slip and slide. So you either wanna lay out a towel on the ground or use one of those rubber bath mats, something so that they feel comfortable and confident that they're not gonna slide around. Because just like if it were ice and you were standing on ice, you would feel uncomfortable. You would be very uneasy in that situation. So you wanna make sure that you've done those two things. Then the next thing I recommend is cotton balls. I always take cotton balls and put it inside the ear. And, and when I say inside, I mean put it way down in the ear. It's not going anywhere. Their ears are shaped like an L. So when you put the cotton ball in, it doesn't make it all the way over. Here, sit down. So when you put the cotton ball in, it'll stop right here and you'll be able to retrieve it. It doesn't wind up way down deep to where you can't retrieve it. So I've stuffed one in her ear. She's, she's not annoyed by it, but this will prevent water from getting down into their ears. You really don't wanna get water in their ears. It's not a good idea and, and not with any breed. So you, you, know, you wanna prevent that by putting the cotton ball in there, water that goes in there, the cotton ball will, will absorb that water. <laughs> so the next thing I've got here is, is uh, Dawn soap. The reason I've got Dawn soap is because right now we're in spring and summer and the fleas are out. And, and one of those ways that you can make sure that you don't have fleas is by using Dawn soap. And uh, so Dawn soap is harsh on the eyes. Yeah, you're not gonna go after kitty. You see kitty, I know, you see kitty. I know, it's okay. So when, <laughs> she's gonna cut right, right in the middle of it. She's right next to you. Right next to the cameraman is a kitty cat interfering <laughs> you can't you can't go snuggle with kitty i'm sorry so the dawn soap is harsh on their eyes and it would burn and um, you really don't you don't want to you, you know you want to avoid that getting on their eyes but if you are going to use dawn soap you want to make a ring around their neck and you want to put a bunch on their behind before you get them wet so that when you do get them wet, the, the, if there are fleas and they go to run to the head or they go to run to the butt, they're gonna encounter that soap. So put, put some soap around the neck, put some soap around the bottom, and then get the dog wet, and then finish between the two places with that Dawn soap. Now you don't wanna put Dawn soap on the head. You will wanna use uh, Johnson's Baby Shampoo or a Tearless Formula suited for for dogs and for puppies and and i do recommend washing the entire head and ears and face all of this because yes you do eat and make sloppy messes on your face you sure do and of course when we hang down and get in the water bowl we get our ears dirty we get them dirty in the food bowl too right yes you do so if, if you know that you don't have fleas, then obviously it's not necessary to use the Dawn soap. But Dawn soap, 
And the kitty is now laying right next to cameraman. Yes, just teasing you. I'm sorry, Miss Petty. <laughs> it's too funny. Um, you know, if, if you know that you don't have fleas and that's not a concern, then certainly you can use a tearless formula. When, when it's time to rinse your dog off, you wanna make sure that you point the nose to the ground this way. You don't wanna point your nose up because then you're gonna get water right up the nose and that's no fun. <laughs> and same thing with the ears because if their nose is pointed down, their ears are pointed down and there's less likely gonna, they're not gonna get nearly the amount of water as when their nose is pointed up because then the water will go right into those ears. So there, you know, there's a handful of tricks. Those are some of the things. Once you have completely rinsed off all of the soap, rather than just grabbing towels and starting to try to dry the dog off, you wanna wring the dog out. So, and start at the top because obviously the water starts here, you, you're gonna get it further down on the dog. So start on the top and work your way down, but I mean wring, like, like you would if you were wringing out a towel, wring out the ears, wring out the rest of the coat, gently squeeze, and, and go all the way through the whole coat. And then even with the legs, do the same, same exact thing where you, you wring, wring this out. Because if you wring out the water, you won't need nearly the amount of towels to get your dog dry. And um, same thing. So the inside of your, your tub has a towel or has a cushion, has, has a surface where the, where the dog is safe. When the dog jumps out of the tub, if it's tile, put down a towel. Put something down so that the dog doesn't end up on the tile floor and slips and slides all over the place. So the towel that you, you know, after you've been wringing the dog out and you're drying while the dog is still in the tub, take that damp towel, lay it on the floor so that now you move the dog from the tub to the floor and it's not a slick surface. You don't wanna have your dog sliding around. It's not healthy on their joints just like it's not healthy on us to go sliding around on ice unless we have ice skates on. Um, and even then it can be dangerous. <laughs> but you, you know, ring, ring the dog out, start at the top, go all the way down, dry off with a towel. Yes, I know, I love you. She's so pretty, she's such a good girl. I can't wait, be a mommy soon. So bath time, should not be wild, crazy time. Another suggestion I have is that if you are bathing a puppy, get your puppy tired before you do bath time. You certainly don't wanna take a puppy this, that has been having a nap, they are fully rested, and now they're bouncing and ready to go. You wouldn't wanna put that puppy in the tub. It would be a bad idea. You wanna make sure that your puppy is gonna chill out in the bathtub. You, you know, it shouldn't be an entire, every single person in the house involved. Make it simple, make it easy. Don't allow nonsense from the beginning. So puppy bouncing around, you don't want that behavior when the puppy is six months old, a year old. You wanna establish the right routine from the beginning. So even though it's tempting to bring toys into the tub and turn it into playtime, it's probably not the best idea to do that. If you want to have playtime in the water, get a kiddie pool, set it out on your porch, let your dog have playtime at the appropriate place, not in the bathtub. Make sure that when you do it, that you have everything ready. Have your towels, have your soap, have your cotton balls, have everything ready. Because the last thing you want to do is get in there and start and go, oh, I forgot something. Because that's then it's really hard. Now you've got a wet puppy that thinks it's, it's playtime and you're not ready and you're not prepared. So make sure you have everything ahead of time before you get started. Say, I'm shedding. <laughs> she's, she's shedding. This, this is part of the breed. Uh, when you mix with a poodle, they don't, they don't typically shed. Um, I know that my, my Sprudel girls that I've had, my, my sweet Georgia and my Jenny, they don't shed. Um, but but yes, English Springer Spaniels, they do shed. And you can see she's very chill. She's very mellow. Yes. Even though the kitty is still laying there, 
I will tell you, there is a kitty right next to the cameraman and within, what, six feet of us? Six feet? <laughs> she sees it too. <laughs> I think the cat has done it on purpose just to tease you. Just to tease you. Yes. So she is so sweet. So those are my tips for the bathtub. Uh, I hope that you have learned something from it. I hope that you can take something from the experience. Please visit my website, Big Doodle Dreams. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, good luck on raising your, your dog and your puppy.